Today's video lesson is about one of my favourite chord progressions, the Andalusian Cadence. Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Andy and this is a short video lesson on the Andalusian Cadence, a great chord progression that I'm sure you'll recognise. Four chords in A minor, it would go something like this. A minor. Often repeated uh, like that it's a chord sequence which just warrants it it just works really well in a cycle in an, what we call an ostinato form where it just repeats around those four chords endlessly people soloing over it or singing over it and it, it's reminiscent of flamenco I, I'm not sure if it has its origins in flamenco I think it dates back further to Baroque and Renaissance music but it certainly sounds like the spirit of flamenco to me now if we were in the key of A minor, we would have the following chords. A minor, B diminished or B minor 7 flat 5, C major, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor. Now we had the following chords in the, in the chord progression. A minor, G, F, E. Which if we look across there on the Roman numerals, we will see that's chord 1 is A minor, G is chord 7, the third chord, F, it's chord six, and then in the key of A minor, you, you shouldn't get this chord. You normally get E minor if you harmonize the natural minor scale. But more often than not, the fifth chord gets substituted for an, a major chord or certainly a, a dominant chord, really. This is because in major harmony, say if we're in the key of C, the five one progression, so the perfect cadence, which in C is G7 to C, that has a really strong pull, that dominant chord, the G7 to a C. Whereas if you take the harmonized natural minor scale, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, the same set of notes, the 5-1 progression, which is E minor to A minor, whilst there's nothing wrong with it, it doesn't sound as strong as, or even if I make that a dominant seventh. The reason why that E, or E7, contains a G-sharp, which is a leading tone, leading you back to an A for a 5-1 um, return. So it's a 1, 7, 6, 5 progression. But the 5 is sub for a major chord or dominant chord rather than a minor chord. It's descending, so it's going down in whole steps to start with. So A minor, down a whole step to G, down a whole step to F, down a semitone to E. That E takes you perfectly back to the A to, to kick it all off again. You could play this progression with one bar on each chord, so... Or two. In the key of E minor, this progression would be E minor, D, C, B7 or B, so E minor, D, C, B or B7. as well. In flamenco music they often use chords with open strings so A minor and E minor are, are good keys for this progression but it comes up a lot in popular music in different guises and here's a few examples. Hit the road jack by Ray Charles you can hear it in the bass line. So A flat minor, G flat, E, E flat. In the wonderful composition of Paca de la Chia, uh, the Entre dos Aguas, if that's how you pronounce it, which at the end, not the melody needle, not, not the, the whatever it goes like, but uh, the, the end section when he's sort of just soloing like mad on it there. Really 
really helps if you make that five chord, the B7, a B7 flat nine, it will sound even more Phrygian-like and dirty, going back to the E minor. Aldi Miola also took inspiration from that tune, Mediterranean Sundancer. That one later on in the solo section, it's again E minor, D, C, D, back to E. This chord progression doesn't only come up in sort of jazz or Latin jazz or flamenco, it's also a mainstay of popular music as well. Um, great example, although it uses a couple inversions, is Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys, the intro, the in E flat minor that first bit so E flat minor uh, D flat slash F so it's just the first inversion D flat six slash F really uh, that's C flat or B um, slash D sharp six and then B flat slash F so flat minor, D flat slash F6, B slash D sharp or C flat slash E flat, B flat slash F. Another great example from the 60s is California Dreaming by the Mamma and Papas in the in the verse. I'm not sure what key it's in, but in A minor we'll go A minor G F. Little alteration back to G. E sus4. E. So it's a slight variation in terms of it goes 1, 7, 6, back to 7, then to the 5 as a sus chord, and then the 5 as a major chord. So A minor, G, F, G, E sus4, E. So 1, 7, 6, 7, 5 sus. I think it's one of the reasons I like that song so much, just love that progression. And I think this progression permeates lots of genres, you move to rock, stuff like All On The Watchtower, it's not quite exactly the same but it's definitely based on it, say if we took the Hendrix version in, in C sharp minor, or C minor, um, you know. It's going one, seven, six, back to seven. So instead of going to the five, instead of going it goes back up to the B, so it's going C sharp minor, B, A, B, although it'd obviously be in C minor because he's playing with the guitar. Tuned a half step down, but you get the idea. Um, another example, Led Zeppelin, Stay Away to Heaven, the solo section where it's going. Pretty much the same there as that all along the watch track example, so it's going one, seven, stays on the six for a little while, then just briefly returns back to seven before it all kicks off again. So it's going one, six, sorry, one, seven, six, seven, one, back. Um, so yes, it doesn't go to the five chord, but it's definitely a similar progression, and probably why these progressions work so well. You think of that solo section, it just goes round and round those chords, and it sounds great in the same way with All on the Watchtower, it's just those three chords going around in a cycle. And I think these type of progressions, particularly the, the Andalusian cadence with those four chords, it, it just works really well, just going round and round with, you know, you can add different layers, just soloing over it. It's, I don't know, it's quite hypnotic maybe, it just sounds awesome. Well that brings today's video to a close. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and checking out my content. If you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing by clicking up here. Or if you'd like to check out another of my videos, do so by clicking up here. See you again soon.